Today we'll call the uh, special meeting of the DPW Public Works Railroad Committee to order. First thing, um, we'll, like, we'd like to need a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. So Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor McGowan. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed carried. Okay, we um, like to welcome uh, Supervisor Lucia up here. Hi there. Thank her. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. We're going to uh, need a motion to go into executive session and discuss potential disposition or lease of county property. Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor Wild. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I was hoping that before we went into executive session, there'd be some discussion about what the plan is for the railroad corridor and what we are even contemplating. I, I would think we were we advertised the reason why we were here to discuss the potential disposition or lease of the property. We've um, not discussed that far into what the direction we're going to lead. We always can discuss that after. I, I, what's, what's the problem? I mean, we're not making any decision in executive session. Right. I, 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 I just believe it's part of the equation. We should should look at this as well as what right. body's mentioning also. So we'll look at it after we get out. We're gonna right. we're gonna have more meetings, but this one was specific to um, this one subject. As long as we can talk about it afterwards, eh? Is that all right? You don't have to work. Let's yeah, see what's out there first, and then you have to offer. I think we ought to see what what is offering, and then that will help us decide how we'll move forward and what we'll do. Okay. I agree. What do you think, Mr. Chairman? I agree. We have uh, representatives from the town of Corinth and um, the county here for a specific reason, and and we need to. Uh, carry through with what, what we were here for. And Is we'll the reason why our county attorney is not here? Just yeah. stepped out yeah. for a second. Okay. So, are we done with the discussion before we close the doors? Okay. Okay. I'd like to go one track line. Uh, there is no action. no action taken in executive session. Um, I'll open it up to any discussions that the supervisors would. Framer. Thank you. Those were interesting proposals. I think that we need to have a broader discussion about what we think that we're going to do with the rail line, the rail corridor. It is one of the centerpieces of the first wilderness corridor. So. I think that it's an important asset of the county. I understand people's perspectives wanting to get out of the railroad business, we got out of the nursing home business, maybe we should get out of the airport business too. But before we get rid of the rail line, I think it would be important to look at that um, from an objective perspective and see what kind of value it adds to the county. And if it really doesn't add any value, I think that's the determination that we have to make something along those lines of legal terms. Maybe Mary can help me, but that we have no further use for that line, then we would be able to put out an RFP to sell the line to the best operator and or owner of the line. Um, I know in Ulster County, one of the first steps they did was commissioning a highest and best use study. And we probably should have done that five, eight, ten years ago, but that hasn't happened. So that would be my recommendation to the committee is that we commission some sort of study to figure out what we're doing with the line and if it has any value for the county or not. As either a railroad or both a railroad and a trail or simply a multi-use trail. Roger Dickinson. Uh, I'd like to make a resolution that we uh, Ask Ryan to prepare an RFP. We have at least two people that are interested in purchasing or leasing the railroad, uh, and I think we should prepare that at a 
as quickly as possible and get it out. And then uh, that would facilitate our getting some comparative detailed information back from at least these two people to make a decision on what we want to do. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I don't see a second. Can you, uh, can you get a, I'm not seconding, him yeah, raising my hand to speak. <laughs> can we kind of get a feel of what we might want to do with the line? And I, you know, I have a question that might be more appropriate for Mary, but we did have some legal counsel that knows a lot about railroads. Did they have any contacts of some consultancy or someone who might help us in short order identify what the best use for this railroad might be that's not going to cost us a lot of money? Just looking for referrals. I don't know. I can ask them that question. At 300 bucks an hour? <laughs> Chairman Conover? Yeah, I mean, I think there are a couple of fundamental questions. I think the process needs to deal with very fundamental in that conversation with the uh, legal counsel, um, I believe I heard that they said we can't abandon, abandon that rail line if there is the potential for business. The FTB will take that into consideration. Into consideration. So uh, listening from one of our proposals today sounded like they weren't worried about abandonment at all. So my sense is we need to kind of get some clarity. Um, on what constitutes a viable business opportunity and how long will they be able to go in front of the Surface Transportation Board without moving any freight to say I still have a viable business opportunity. Great. Good morning, Hello. Chairman. Um, we've seen over the past few months that there are various possibilities for use of this line. Some have greater potential than others. It is a significant physical piece of land which is in our county and it goes from north to south on the western end of the county. It doesn't affect Gordon's Hall that much, but it certainly affects the western uh, end north to south. Whatever we do, if we end up contracting uh, in one way or another with uh, an entity, I would like us not to get into the position where we've given up control of the next 60 years of that form. Uh, and I would also like us to have something in the contract which we didn't have last time, which is things start 
not working out and we have an option to be able to move to another direction. Well, I guess that one, one thing says I'm not interested in selling it unless there's some really good guarantees and everybody will say there are no guarantees. But I'm not interested in selling it unless we're going to preserve the integrity uh, of the town's law that point. Supervisor Stokel? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there, there is a resolution on the floor. Um, or a motion, I'm sorry. Um, I, I guess the way I left the two folks is that they were going to feed us some information in the next two or three weeks. So maybe with this newfound information, we can generate an RFP, which may be at a later date that we can possibly put forward and let them look. Right now, I would be interested to see what they have to offer us in the first round. So I think we just kind of let it play out for the next few weeks and see where we go from there. Supervisor Beatty? Yeah, I, I don't know if we legally can do that though because you can't generate uh, proposals without an RFP because then they could taint the RFP process. So, uh, Mr. Sober, I don't think we can do that. So, it was on RFP though. No, you're asking. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You right. can't have proposals. You know, um, submitted, they contain an RFP process. But my point is this we've got 20 different supervisors, we've got 20 different slants on this. Okay, I haven't heard two of the same yet. So um, I do like Supervisor Bramer's suggestion that we get a best use uh, scenario from uh, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of money, that's for darn sure. But we got 20 different ideas here. And I don't know how we're going to come to any conclusion that we get, we get a consensus. Uh, we can't even get a consensus on the committee, much less get a consensus from the board. So maybe we do need a little more direction. And I think maybe uh, maybe a, 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 a study that can turn around fairly quickly on a best use scenario for the line makes some sense. Because we're not experts on the floor. Nobody in this room is. Supervisor McGowan. I kind of tend to believe with, you know, with, uh, with Ron, it, it really, really depends what goes on with the northern line. And if that's not abandoned and they're going to haul out, I mean, we can't recreationally take our tracks away. Um, you know, it's, a, it's to make a decision today. There's a lot of factors of uh, trying to figure out um, really the best direction to go but a lot of it uh, depends on what's up north I really uh, gotta say I, I, I like the really the proposal of uh, um, of bringing more businesses here especially uh, helping out current with IP I mean that's such a huge beautiful you know building that they've tried so hard I, I really think we have a, a viable source here that uh, can bring in even though we do have some APA uh, restrictions up north, uh, I, you know, I, I really would hate to give up hope on the railroad itself. I don't have a, uh, a problem selling the railroad uh, if it's in there as a, if anything sour goes down the line again, we get it back. Where is it, Wild? Mr. Chair, you may modify. Uh, modify. Uh, Supervisor Dickinson's motion that I'd like to see Ryan uh, develop a draft RFP uh, for uh, the sale or lease uh, and also to include um, some option of potential conversion to a trail system and we could go out to the Open Space Institute or Nature Conservancy or something like that to see if anyone would be interested to provide a counter proposal to an economic uh, proposal. Supervisor Dickinson, you made the motion. And do you want to amend your motion? Uh, I'll second the right. We don't need an RFP. <laughs> we don't need an RFP. I'm sorry, we don't need a motion for this. No, but he made a motion and it's still on. It, it, was, <coughs> it, it didn't have a second. And we yeah. would not draft a resolution for this. 
okay, we don't need a resolution. So your first motion failed. We don't need to do a resolution to um, work on a RFP. RFP draft and to include the other items you suggested. Do we have the vote on that? No. No. We just had. We didn't have a second. Right. Uh, so I assume we're going to have some clause in there about if they go under, we get it back. And is is that basically what you're going to be doing? You're going to be consulting with the railroad guy. Well, we're not negotiating at this point, but I no, think we are. To we, we want to establish what, what we're interested in, right? For right. potential right. buyers slash leases, right? We we can we can certainly require respondents to speak to. Because I think that's part of the problem we have when we're questioning this. You turn the questions around back to us. Well, what are you looking for? Mr. Garrity? they got to be RFP A B C. That's what I heard in that sort of thing. Trail, trail, trail. So it'd be two separate right. <laughs> one, I, I hate to say this, but kind of like similar to what we do with the airport, right? Give the guys an option. And isn't that what we're trying to decide, right? Which is, do we want to sell? Do we want to lease? Or do we want to abandon? What is it, Bramer? My concern about that for quite a while is that you're leaving it up to outside entities to dictate to us what they want to do with our line. Shouldn't we be trying to figure that out for ourselves? I mean, this is not the first time that this board has gone through this process, so I would like, like to rely on some of the representatives who have been here longer, went through this process. I mean, haven't we heard this already? Let's make rail work. We can add some tourist training. We're going to get the freight. We've heard this before. Well, I don't. Board, can I respond to that? Sure. I would love you. My tenure here, I, I, we came in with a tour stream that was unsuccessful. So when we put it back out for an RFP in 20, what was it, 2010? Yeah, yeah, 2010, it came back as maintaining a um, RFP for a tour stream, minor, but afraid of the size. It sounds to me like. We may be talking about it more in the, the vein of, uh, of a freight, more freight and less tourists. So, if you want to do a market study, you get it back fairly quick because if we don't, you know, we're going to pick up the cost. And if we're okay with not doing anything for 60 days and picking up the cost, that's fine. I mean, you know, I just want the board to understand we're generating costs, right? Supervisor Kramer. Thanks. Um, I mean, I, I understand that people went out in the past for the tourist train RFP, but everyone I've talked to has always said nobody ever believed that was going to work without having the, the freight That's happen. Right. Everyone always counted on the freight happening. It's been years and years and years. If freight was going to happen, why has it not happened yet? by now? Why are we continuing to rely on that when we've given them a chance? Gave them a chance again when we renewed the contract just two years ago. I, I just feel like we're kicking ourselves, smashing our heads against the wall, or something that's not going to happen. Supervisor Dickinson. Well, I think the issue is whether we want to sell it or keep it. Period. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to sell it, somebody's going to buy it. They're going to do whatever they want. It's exactly. not, that's not our concern. I think our concern is to decide whether we want to sell it or we want to keep it. Truthfully, I don't think we should be in the railroad business. Uh, I, I think it should be sold and, and let whoever buys it figure out what they're going to do with it, which could be nothing. Uh, so I don't think that's our issue. I think we should make it simple, get to it, and get it done. We, we're interested in selling. If you want to buy, making an offer. And, and I, I'm going to add to that. Um, there's a significant liability the county has to maintain this asset. Uh, right now, we have potentially two proposals uh, that we may consider to remove that liability. Um, how, I don't know how long those might be valid, but right now we have two interested parties and we need to make a decision. Uh, we can't just sit on this and wait for another opportunity. 
I, I use the phrase, you know, bird in the hand is better than two in a bush. M maybe that applies. And we need to kind of take some action. Supervisor Dickinson. I agree with, with Mike, and I, I think that part of my concern is uh, we have a number for maintenance. Uh, I'm a little cautious about that. I don't know if it's enough. And secondly, there's a difference between doing just basic maintenance and doing some serious maintenance. So as time goes on, we are going to have some issues facing us. We have a lot of bridges, a lot of culverts, a lot of drainage. Yeah. You know, every year that you don't do the utmost in maintenance, you're subjecting yourself to potential disaster. And I, I want to add two things, if you don't mind. Um, and I think I said it, if, if it's a viable business up there, they can run over our line and we're responsible. And if I'm not mistaken, I, I was speaking to uh, Kevin Andros, I think one of the bridges has a $1.5 million um, maintenance tag on it already that we need to replace a deck. 1.7, okay, it's over the Sacadaga. So uh, there's some there's some big risks that, um, you know, if there's well-capitalized companies that are willing to take that risk, um, you know, with a reversion clause, I think we should go for it. We should consider it. Thank you. Supervisor Conover. Well, I just, in terms of the, another piece of information that we need a conclusive answer to the council is, um, should the line ever be abandoned for railroad purposes, I believe there is a um, protocol for the um, handling of that. I'd like to know specifically what that protocol is. But I don't believe that it's just sold off in a thousand pieces. I think that there's a procedure there that uh, offers those things to uh, the hierarchy of both federal, state, local agencies and governments. And it's very important that we understand that procedure. I understand the reverter uh, interest and in that line, I would say that any supervisor that has specific concern regarding impacts going forward, whether it be the storage of cars, or whether it be uh, uh, unsightly cars, or uh, maintenance, or whatever, you know, should get off a list of all of those concerns and others. We should just compile our concerns. One school is quite stupid, right? All the concerns that we have, we should prepare that list so that no matter what we decide going forward, we have um, we try to um, uh, engage those uh, concerns with whatever it is we're dealing with. I think we should begin to develop that priority list of, okay, well, you know, we had an operator and then there was oil cars and we're, some of us were very concerned about that. We don't want to see that sort of thing in the future. And we have uh, other concerns about graffiti on cars and cars being uh, parked in um, highly public areas uh, with graffiti on them for long periods of time. Whatever our concerns, we should articulate them and to the degree we can, whether sale or lease, we should try to address those concerns going forward. And I think that's, so we owe that to the municipalities along the line. We owe it to ourselves. Supervisor Bramer? We definitely do. We need to make sure those are all flushed out. But the moment we sell the line, we're going to have very little zero control over what they do. And even if we try to put in some conditions to survive the closing of the sale, how are we going to enforce that? It's going to be really hard. Once we lose control of the line. I, very I'm not sure. Sale was discussed. Lease was discussed. Sale lease is another option. I, I, you know, I'm not that far along in my thinking yet in terms of this because I'd like some answers to these fundamental questions that I am going to drive me in a certain direction in terms of what I think is possible. You're, I think you're right, though. I think there may be some things that might be nice, but not might be difficult to achieve. But then there are other things that perhaps we can readily achieve. Well, and that, that hierarchy you talked about, if they abandon the line, that would be a nice question to know the answer to. Are we somewhere in the line of maybe getting it back or real banking it, using that process? We need an answer to that question. Well, we'll do it. Right. <laughs> so could, I, could I suggest the committee um, submit these things to uh, you know the county administrator and the attorney to uh, compile these um, everybody's concern you know and, and we don't need a book because that'll take 
that take forever to get through, but you know, one thing is the reversion. What um, you know, all the issues that that everybody has discussed here, and we'll compile them, and we'll we'll um, work on getting those those issues worked out. I mean, we need to go into any decision on future uses with our eyes wide open. So um, we really need these issues articulated in an email and compiled. again with Kevin. I know he's been pushing as hard as he possibly can yeah, to get that done. I know. I know. Yeah. We did ask for it. So, Reza Conover? Yeah, and I would agree. I'm completely with Claudia. Yeah. And, um, and Andrea regarding uh, the instructions are that all property not belonging to Warren County is here to all those plans. Well, the only, the, only thing I, the only thing I would add is, is uh, the last time concerned this, I pulled my board, you know, they, they don't want to give up the trail, the rain, the trail, the track. They want to They want to retain ownership because we got a lot at stake. There's fuel plans, you know, we're, we're in the process of putting up a depot which is in, in line with some trails that even if you guys tore yours up, we could still take advantage of it, but the, the mill is, is a very important thing. We don't want to lose that siding going to the mill. I think we're pretty clear about that. Yes. That but I appreciate, want to appreciate your thought, and I thank you for having me here for that. Thank you. Supervisor Loeb. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I want to reiterate, I am on record for supporting freight. My clear recollection, when Ed Ellis came, uh, we were entertaining uh, requests or Spenders who would provide tourist train. And Ed Ellis made it very clear. He said, I'll provide the tourist train because I'm pretty confident that we will get freight revenue to support the tourist train. He wasn't coming just to just to provide the tourist, tourist train. His goal was to take care of the freight. So I would like us to uh, carry on with that idea. I like the idea of the railroad. As long as it doesn't damage any of the towns along the area, I think we should uh, move forward in trying to get an operator to do the freight. And if they would entertain having another operator come along and do the tourist train, that would be fine too. Uh, with the uh, section in the contract, and I don't want to sell the uh, property, but the section in the contract that allows us to take control of it if things go uh, awry. Okay. Anything further? Motion is adjourned. Well, if I could just have some clarification. If we're moving forward with three RFPs, I'm, I'm fairly clear on what needs to be in the sale RFP. Uh, and as, as the chairman said, we'll put together everyone's concerns so we make sure that it's comprehensive. Uh, with regard to the other two RFPs, if we're doing a lease RFP, are we focused on the tourist train? Are we focusing it on freight? Are we asking uh, to, for proposals on all of the above? Um, and uh, third, with regard to the, uh, the trail RFP, what, what exactly? What exactly are we? What services are we asking for? Are we asking for someone to put together 
uh, a feasibility study? Are, are we asking for grant writers and engineers? Uh, and, and I'm confused as to what what we're putting out there. We um, at a previous committee meeting, we had agreed that we were going to apply for a smart growth grant to begin that process, which is uh, September. And if we could jump in, uh, you sound like. I'm sorry, I had to go ahead of meeting um, that you're going to put together three RFPs. We would like to participate in the middle of um, So that it's, if, if you're going to include the town, it should be the middle one. Um, the other two could not sound like what I understand um, we're interested in. Um, and I think it would be good to have a united front um, because I think it's more valuable together. And we don't care if you want to sell yours and we have a, a, a contract for operation. But we would like to participate in that. Okay. I know that. Thank you. Supervisor Thomas? I, I just think with the, with the okay. trail RFP, I think we're getting way ahead of ourselves. I think we have a railroad and uh, we need to deal with the railroad. Either we're going to keep it or we're not going to keep it. But to be put down an RFP for a trail proposal is I tend to agree. Right. Supervisor Bramer? On the bill option, the operating thing, we, what Supervisor Thompson said is true. We own a rail line. Let's just put out an RFP for someone to take over our obligation as the railroad, the common carrier, railroad operator. And they do whatever they want with it. If it's not tourist trains, then who cares? Supervisor McGowan. I think tourist trains ought to be in there. We have a viable uh, thing out there um, in Stony Creek. And, um, you know, in hearing that other proposal of bringing in the cars and, you know, and having the, the sleeping in that, I mean, that's a touristy thing. Uh, we do have, you know, North Creek. I, I really uh, think that uh, tourism uh, should be involved. There, There is potential there if someone else wants to come in you know and and, and sub off of the uh, the line to do it uh, I think there's uh, some potential there. So as it kind of over. Also I mean we've been discussing this before it, we don't want to see it like fallow in the deep clear runs. Yeah. It's not going to be used for rail. We'd like to see snowmobile snow be around cross country skiers or whatever. I mean it's, it's that was one of the concerns that Supervisor Wild. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry. Um, it seems like there's a lot of different ideas and there's some brainstorming that needs to happen to kind of accommodate all these different ideas. My experience tells me it's good to have like a conference room with a bunch of sticky paper all over the walls that people write stuff down on. Can we have something like that Monday that's a supervisor's only kind of meeting room where we can go in and write stuff down when we're not in a specific committee meeting or something no, like that? No, you can't have a quorum of a committee anywhere and not have a meeting. How about a one room? <laughs> Put in the bathroom, right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Men's room or ladies' room? <laughs> Supervisor Lowe. Yes, yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. In, in the uh, interest of trying to make a decision, uh, Supervisor Dickinson made a proposal that did not work. Uh, don't recollect the so. exact words, but I would like to make a motion that the develop an RFP to uh, get an operator to operator line to lease it, not sell it. Uh, hopefully for freight or for freight or tourism, uh, whichever that operator thinks would be most beneficial. Again, to include uh, a paragraph which will allow us to uh, have more influence over the outcome of that line in the future. 
So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Okay, motion failed. Okay, so um, it definitely seems like we're very interested in rail. So that is one thing that is definitely focused out of this meeting. So might I suggest that we expand our options on the rail so that we can at least move forward? Maybe instead of narrowing it down to lease that we... Chairman, you already have it on the table. No, I don't. It failed. You didn't get a second. Well, it just seemed it just seemed like everybody was focused on rail. That we did, we are in agreement with the rail. Find that out with his RFPs when he puts them together, right? It's three A, B, C. My other question, my other comment is, I agree with Claudia and I agree with Andrea. We haven't done a good job making sure that the equipment is off the rails. I heard you say when he asked that question, "Well, we're not sure." Yes, we were sure. We were sure weeks ago that that stuff was supposed to go, you know, and I know that I've talked to the DPW superintendent and told him, no, don't give an avenue. This guy gets on the phone, calls somebody up and says, well, maybe you can leave your stuff there. That's not the message, and I'm telling right. you, even today, your comments at the meeting weren't clear until we clarified it We went body and Andrews. So I clarified it. I said. No, 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 not when you first said. You can watch the tape. What I'm saying is right Didn't now, it, it needs to get out of here. That stuff needs to go. I mean, it clearly doesn't go. We should hire a company to move it off our tracks and fill them. They'll never get the money for it. But I think they're still moving it. There's well, they should some have, just went. They should have moved it. Some just went ago. went through our town yesterday. Sure, John, we. We. Please don't touch that stuff. Okay, so. Are we adjourning or are we... Well, we adjourn. Adjourn. I, I got some clarification. Okay, I, thought you had it. I got clarification on the lease, but, but not the trail. What, what are we ask, What are we putting out in an RFP for the trail option? We should all be talking about leasing or so. I don't I agree. Yeah. So, so the third RFP is off the table? Off the table. Yeah. I appreciate it. From the committee, yeah. yeah they're okay. Their whole family. Now, I just have one other question about timing from... I did, I did a request to Mary. Okay. or some insight about consultancies and whether we can get a, a, a use on this. Do we have a timing for that, Mary? To get back to the committee? When do you think we can get back to the committee on that? So if it's a good idea, we might just authorize? Monday or Tuesday. So um, is, is there any sense about what we might want to authorize? Well, or something like that? Planner, right. right. Sorry, I didn't what, what do you think for timing? Uh, on, on a best use study? Oh. No, 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 just on the two, two RFPs. So, Thank you, Mr. Leeds. I appreciate it. I'm going to talk to Julie Butler and, and we're going to have to see what we can put everybody. together. So you don't know about time? I okay. don't know. No. There you go. It should be. Can you set it up as a, a you know, a lease to sell? No, this is negotiation. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I would throw. Okay. But I, I still would like to pursue that and if it's reasonable that we can get something from a, a consultant or some advisor about the value of this property, whether it's to sell or to abandon, right, to help us make that decision, if we get that within a month, well, the it's, study done? It's going to depend. If it's matter? over $20,000, we'll have to do an RFP to get those services. I can't believe that. So can, how about if I have a motion to pay a consultant uh, $10,000 to give us a sense of what this is worth? Then he'll charge you best you. Yeah. I withdraw my motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you could set a dollar amount. Not to exceed. I got to go. Not to exceed. Okay. Okay. We're running out of votes okay. here. Okay. Well, if it comes in under twenty thousand, I can tell you what it is, and we can do it. I'm just saying there's the potential that it. Is it I think it's worth some money. I'm not sure. No, it's twenty thousand dollars. Somewhere, yeah. Why don't I see what they say? And then we can go from there. I'm going to Google it. Due diligence. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Adjourn. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Dennis. Dennis. <laughs>